Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the best number 5L7RD 2626T. This is a cabinet lock is what it is. This is a key retaining cabinet lock. It's a bolt style, and this is what it looks like. This first part of the video is going to serve as visual and dimensional evidence of the item. Let's take some dimensional properties of it now. Let's see, the overall width of the mounting portion of the body itself looks like it's about 2 and 9 sixteenths. Overall height looks like it's about 2 and an eighth. The projection of the face of the cylinder housing looks like it's about an inch. Okay, its diameter looks like we're about an inch and a sixteenth, something right in that range. Okay, now the bolt, I can give you the dimensions of the bolt as, as well. Okay, I have that thrown. Width of the bolt. It's like it's about five eighths of an inch. Uh, the projection of the bolt. It's about seven sixteenths. Thickness. Looks like it's about three eighths of an inch. Okay. Now uh, this is a cabinet lock, and they call it key retaining. What does that mean, and where are you going to use this lock? Let's talk about that right now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, what is this lock and where do we use it? Well, it is a uh, drawer lock, it's a cabinet lock. Um, wherever you're going to ultimately end up uh, using this sort of item, um, you know, on what type of piece of furniture or door style is, of course, you know, however you will use it. But this lock in particular, and we're going to dissect the part number, is manufactured by Best. It is a small format interchangeable core type platform where it will accept any best uh, core uh, regardless of the keyway or the keying platform you can have just the common best a keyway all the way up to their you know peaks and, and restricted sort of keyways uh, patented restricted types of keyways this is a deadbolt or the bolt will obviously uh, come out as I had demonstrated earlier and I'll, I'll do so again this is what is called key retaining and there is non key retaining and key retaining key retaining means that you can't pull the key out when the unit yeah, let's let's demonstrate it you can't pull the key out when the unit is in the unlocked condition let's let's take a look at that So what I have here is just a generic, sorry best, just a generic uh, six pin small format interchangeable core cylinder. The key will unlock that, okay, and lock it. The key, when the cabinet is locked, you can retract it, perform the operation, close the door, you can't take the key out until you relock it, at which point you can take out the key. Okay, you could technically reverse that functionality where it would only be removed when it is in the unlocked condition for some reason. I don't know why you would do that, um, but that's what key retaining is. Why would you want that? Well, there's a security concern over the opening. You want to make sure that every time that the door is closed and the key is removed, it's in the locked condition is the bottom line. That's, that's why that is the way it is. Okay. Now, this is going to include a fastener package You'll have a couple of um, pan head screws, obviously to attach the body down to whatever you're installing it to. Okay, that's pretty obvious how that's going to work. You're going to have a couple of flat head, maybe number six would be my guess, maybe a five flathead uh, sheet metal screws. That's for the included strike, which is here. Okay. 
dimensions of the strike, about an inch and 13 sixteenths by about five eighths, and it's quite thin. Let's take a dimension of that. The thickness is 0 0.042, 0 0.042 thick. You're also going to get a couple of these spacers. It's unusual that there are two in there. Um, not unusual. The bottom line is this. This is capable of taking a seven pin length interchangeable core. It can also take a six pin. Best also makes a five pin. I've never actually seen one, but they do make them. If you have a seven pin core, you'll stick that in there and it'll work just fine. If you have a six pin, you'll drop one of these plugs down onto the driver itself. Okay, and if you have a five pin, you're gonna use both of them stacked together. That prevents any sort of slop from occurring of the cylinder inside the housing. And while this doesn't really move at all, standard practice would be that you would insert those spacers so that you do not have any unused room between the back of the cylinder, it's the core itself, and where the, um, where the throw member uh, bottoms out. What's holding the cylinder in place is the control lug, uh, but you don't really want to count on that control lug being what keeps the cylinder in place. You'll use the equipment uh, that's included the way it's been tested. Probably one. If, you've, if you have these cylinders, they're likely six pin. They could be seven pin. They could be anything, five, six, or seven pin. So be mindful. You're also going to get a template, a paper template that you'll attach that will allow you to mark your holes. One and five thirty second of an inch diameter hole for the cylinder housing, and then your two screw, small screws, which are a sixteenth of an inch um, pre-drill size. Now let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting documentation. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here's the item that we are looking at. Let's take a closer look at some photographs that we have linked to down below. Here's the box itself, the contents, your lock body, your strike, your mounting screws for the lock body, the mounting screws for the strikes, your two cylinder spacers, your template, a little close-up view. That's the throw member. Profile, top view, the back side, showing the bolt extended, and then your accessories. Now, let's dissect this part number. And probably the best way to do that is to just look at the documentation that we have here. And the extended description basically serves to dissect the part number itself. Uh, nickel plated zinc case and bolts, stainless steel cover, phosphor bon bronze spring, I think what they're saying there is that they're using high quality architectural components to manufacture the item. It's considered grade two, which is a half a million cycles. It has a back set of seven eighths of an inch. That's important to know. Um, and that, that, uh, that's important to know from the perspective that the dimension from the edge to the center is seven eighths. Um, you know, depending on how you're going to install it, where you're going to install it exactly, that's going to be a pretty important dimension to know. The dimensional properties, body thickness, length, width, height, etc., hole spacing, all that is there for you to review uh, should you need to know all of that. Now, the template is linked to here, not a lot to see in this. Uh, situation. It's really a technical drawing, I would say, um, but it does give you the dimensions that you would need to make your preparations. Um, regarding placement, doesn't tell us the diameter of the holes to drill like the actual template does, so we're gonna we'll see about getting that renamed to um, technical drawing. The installation template that's here, that's a scan of the actual component that's in the box. Installation instructions, okay, this is good. Drill an inch and a quarter diameter hole. If you've ordered a, a bezel or a trim ring for that, there it is. Install and secure. Now, the dissecting of the part number is gonna come from the product catalog. And let's 
Keep in mind, we have a 7L, pardon me, a 5L 7RD2 finish, and then T. So as we scroll through the product catalog, our 5L deadbolt is on page 4. So we'll scroll to page 4. Giving us some additional information. Rim vertical mounting or mortise vertical mounting. Just going to have everything to do with where you're positioning the bolt in relationship to the back of the unit that you're attaching it to. Inverted, left hand, you know, etc. These are the different strikes that are included. The A450 is the strike that's going to come with this. Um, you know, and, and you know, the, the installation of the strike, I think, is going to be more something like you have your bolt. Sorry, that's awful. You have your bolt, and then, you know, let's say that it's in, uh, installed down onto, that's really bad. So the question will become, you know, is the jam like this, and you're going to put the strike here? Is that how that's going to work? Probably something like that. That'll go down. Your drawer will be able to move, obviously, or, or your door. So the strike will be mounted in some sort of orientation like that. Now, let's dissect the part number. We've, we have the 5L, it's a 5L series, it's seven. Just put the seven there, it'll accept all best cores. You wouldn't order it a 5L6, they'll send a seven with the spacer. Then we have an R for rim. That tells us that we're dealing with a rim style construction and the term rim refers to a cylinder or a lock Something, around, something that has been installed around the, and here it comes, the perimeter of the door, the outside edge perimeter of the door. So it tells us it's a rim. Then we have a D, which is a deadbolt versus a latch. We have a two, which is a vertical installation, which they're showing here. Then we have um, our finish. And then we have our deadbolt, deadbolt lock only. Um, meaning it could have been a TR uh, that would include the trim ring. Now they don't discuss the bolt, re uh, pardon me, pardon me, the key retaining functionality of the cylinder. Um, there is no way to leave that cabinet lock in the locked and unlocked position uh, is the bottom line. They refer to it with deadbolt function, locked and unlocked by key, must be locked by the key after the door is closed, key may be withdrawn in locked and unlocked position. And that of course doesn't match with everything we've been saying, but as we go through the body of all of this and then get to the last part, the T option, key is removable only in the locked position for the deadbolt. So that's where the key retaining portion comes in. And that's how we dissect the part number. Now probably to finish up this portion of the video, you can tell by the how to order matrix here what options are left to you. They can do that cylinder face or that cylinder housing face in satin brass, satin bronze, and satin chrome. Um, So, you know, those are the options when it comes to that. The rest of the catalog will uh, allow you to review other associated products when it comes to these types of specialty cylinders, and I would encourage you to review all of that at your convenience. All right, let's wrap up this video on camera, but before we do that, I'd like to point you to the link here below this video uh, to the manufacturer's page on our site. And when you click on that, that page will indeed load. It will allow you to review not only all of the best products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog that will, of course, have 
and house all things best lock related. It's a large document. We'll just give it a moment to load. 344 pages, at least at this time, of all things best lock related. Uh, there's also a service, a link to the service manual that's here. If you call best for tech support, and they're, they're pretty good, um, they are going to likely be referring to that service manual manual uh, during that conversation, so you might want to give that a try before you call. Your answer, you might find the answer you're looking for in the service manual. There's also a link to the A2 and A4 key systems training manual that's there. There's also um, other technical information, reference to accommodating best cores, decoding an SFIC system, likely written by William Link. Uh, yeah, definitely. William Link, he is a um, Aloha ACE instructor. I've sat in a couple of his classes, a very um, a gifted educator, and um, was very uh, lucky to uh, be in his class on removable core and high security cylinders at an Aloha show not too long ago. Fascinating reading. He's a regular contributor to the industry magazine and would certainly uh, suggest that you uh, get your hands on the Keynotes publication whenever you can. You get the idea. Encyclopedic documents are on this page, and this is the page indeed where we would keep those. Let's wrap up this video now on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, the purpose of this video was to give you a relatively deep dive into the 5L series locks, and in particular the rim deadbolt key retaining. So here it is. Any questions on the 5L7RD2626T cabinet lock or any other best product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.